welcome to the new 6304 course from Open Regulatory. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am recording a new compliance course. <laughs> well, there might be some irony in that. The last course was actually in 2020, that was five years ago. So the main difference, ironically, is not that the regulations changed because they're literally unchanged. The main difference is that I'm five years older <laughs> and, and the technology is slightly better, so we have slightly better cameras. So that's cool. Well, cool, depends. You'll be doing cool stuff like documenting your software and documenting how you test your software to kind of like make auditors um, believe that your software is safe and hopefully showing them that your software is safe. Um, and there's a lot of other cool stuff which we'll be automating with our EQMS software formwork. But just to make sure in case you, for some extremely weird reasons, uh, choose not to um, use our software for documentation, I'll also show you how to do it the old school way in spreadsheets and documents, which sucks tremendously. Now, before we get into interesting stuff, uh, let's actually see how we can get the 6304 standard and how it looks like. So let's hope I don't screw this up because I only have one try to purchase it. Um, all right, this is formwork. This is how you do cool stuff. But today we are doing boring stuff first. So you go to evs.ee, which is the friendly Estonian site. And if you're actually looking for an overview, you can go to openregular.com and then I think slash accessing standards. So the basic idea here is, in case you didn't know, is like the standards industry is extremely shady. So you can purchase these standards. And they're not freely available. You, can put, you have to purchase them. You have to buy PDFs from somewhere. Uh, crazy. And depending on where you buy them, get slightly different versions of them and with crazy price differences. So if we look at the 6304, you can see you can choose to purchase it for 500 something euros or for 40 something euros. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go for the 40 something euros. By the way, this link might be old. Oh God. So let's search for it from scratch. So you go to evs.ee. You have to select the English language in the top right corner. I already did that. And now we're going to search for 62304 and hope that it works. Okay. Now it gets super confusing, but uh, the main thing you have to look for is, okay, newest version. This already looks pretty good. Uh, also, this is main plus amendment. You don't want to buy these separately. You don't want to buy only the amendment or only the main thing or whatever this is. Uh, also, this is free. So as you can see, it is extremely, um, it is extremely confusing. And if you, for example, choose this one, you just pay a thousand euros, which is completely crazy. But my best guess is, and it, it's, it speaks um, a lot about this, how broken this is, if even I, after five years, have trouble um, selecting the right version here. Anyway, I think it's this one. Also, the price is in the range which we were expecting. So I'll go ahead and buy this. And by the way, I might speed this video up um, later. I might uh, remove some parts where I'm showing, like, whatever, our credit card data. So you don't use our credit card to purchase the standards, which is the obvious use case when you have a stolen credit card. All right, um, the main important point which I would like to show you is actually you have to purchase the multi-user version. So how does that work? You go to buy. Uh, yeah, we don't want the paper version. That would be crazy. Uh, English, obviously. Okay, so you have to get the multi-user license. Why is that the case? Because if you get the single user license, you end up with a super weird crappy PDF file which you can only open on one computer. And it's completely crazy. You have to install additional software. It's just a terrible experience. So use the choose the multi-user license and purchase as many seats as you need. Uh, our company is small, so we choose two. That being said, there's no way to check uh, what, how many seats you're using. So as long as you choose two and more, you get a PDF file which you can share in your company. So, uh, well, I won't give you any, any ideas. Okay, add to cart. And after this, I might speed up the video. We'll see. I'll check out and we'll see you pretty soon, I think. Okay, the checkout is done, but I haven't paid yet. We will notify you when the order is ready for payment. I selected credit card. Okay, well, almost done. All right, so it seems they changed their system and it is not an improvement. So <laughs> I got this email. Thank you for your order. Uh, requires a processing period of one business day. We will notify you when order is ready for payment. Okay, so even though I wanted to pay with credit card, Apparently, um, I can only pay with credit card uh, one day later and then receive the PDF. So um, this is blocked for now. It's good that we did this in the beginning because then you can also do it in the beginning and you can kind of kick off this purchase so you have the standard uh, tomorrow, hopefully, or maybe later today. Um, 
I'll kind of like stop this video right here and then I'll record the next video when I actually have the standard so we can pick up there later. Until then, um, you're, I'm sure you're already looking forward to doing a 6.3.4 compliance documentation as we are off to a really great start.